This is the third video about vector geometry and today we're going to look at slightly harder questions where a ratio is involved as in that statement in this question. P to R ratio R to Q is 1 to 2. Now before we start on the vector work I will just explain what the ratio concept means. If you have a straight line P Q and R is a point on the line, then the fact that the ratio of PR to RQ is one to two means that that is one part and that is two parts. So the distance from P to R is one third of the distance from P to Q. It's a third because one part and two parts gives you three parts. And RQ is two thirds of the distance from P to Q. So we're going to use that idea to help us do the vector work. So as before, I'm going to highlight the vectors whose names we know. O to P is X and O to Q is T. First one they want to find is the vector from Q to P. So the vector from Q to P is the vector going that way. So to get from Q to P, I'm going to go from Q to O and then from O to P. So the vector from Q to O is minus T and the vector from O to P is plus X. So the vector we want is X minus T. Then we move on to the vector from O to R. The line from O to R isn't yet drawn on, so draw on the line from O to R, which goes along there. So we need to find that name. So if you look at the diagram, we can either go from O to P and then P to R, or we can go from O to Q and then Q to R. But actually, the line from Q to R in that direction, we have just found the name of. So I'm going to go in that direction. So I'm going to do OR as the vector from O to Q plus the vector from Q to R. The vector from O to Q we know is T. The vector from Q to R is two thirds of the vector which goes from Q to P and the vector which goes from Q to P is x minus t. And we know it's two thirds because r splits the line in the ratio one to two as above. Expanding out the bracket, t plus two thirds x minus two thirds t. And then the t minus two thirds t gives us a third t plus two thirds x. And that is the final answer. So let's have a look at another ratio question. Here's the ratio in this part. AR to AD is two to three. Slightly different this time, but still the same sort of idea. There's my line AD and there's the point R. This time, rather than giving R a splitting the line, it's giving it as part of the line. So we know that the ratio of that distance to that distance is two to three. So if the distance from A to R is two parts, the distance from A to D altogether is three parts. So you do have to look carefully at how the ratio is given to you. Same thing again, highlight the vectors you know. So A to B we know and B to C we know. And then if you look at the diagram, DC is parallel to AB. So its name is going to be A as well. And AD is parallel and equal to BC. So that name we are going to know as well. So we want the vector from B to R. Again, the line isn't drawn on. So we'll go from B to R that direction. Now, again, we have two choices. We can go from B to A and then A to R, 
or we can go a longer route round and go BC plus CD plus DR. Again, I'm going to choose to go BA plus AR because ratio is given to us starting at A. So to get BR, I'm going to say BR is equal to the vector from B to A plus the vector from A to R. The vector from B to A is minus A. The vector from A to R is some fraction of the vector from A to D. The vector from A to D is the same as the vector from B to C, and that one's called K. So it's some fraction of the vector K. And from above, we know that AR is 2 thirds of AD. So it's 2 thirds K. So the final answer is 2 thirds K minus A. The last question I'm going to try, trapezium, and we're given several important bits of information at the top. BC is parallel to AD. AD is two lots of BC. And AR to AD is in the ratio three to one. And we're going to need all of those bits of information to do the question. Okay, we're told that A to B is the vector T. So if I mark that on, A to B is the vector T. And B to C is the vector X. So B to C is the vector X. So just think about what else you know from that. Because we know that AD is twice BC, it means the vector from A to D is twice the vector from B to C. So the vector from A to D is 2X. So we'll use that later on. If you look at the vector from A to R, we know that R splits that bottom line in the ratio 3 to 1. So there are four parts. A to R is three of those parts, and R to D is one of those parts. So the vector from A to R is three quarters of the vector from A to D, and the vector from A to D is 2x. So three quarters times two, is 3 over 2. So the vector from A to R is 3 over 2x. We want to find the vector from R to C. Draw the line in. So the vector from R to C, I'm going to do as RA plus AB plus BC. RA is the negative, it's backwards along AR. So it's minus 3 over 2x plus AB, which is T, plus BC, which is x. Simplify that. x minus 3 over 2x is minus a half x. Minus a half x plus T, just slightly rearranged, T minus a half x.